Hello and welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Jamie Lee. Today I'm going to be sharing an updated 12 item work wardrobe with you. I've filmed a few of these videos in the past and I'm going to link them down in the description box below. But what I love about them is it really proves the point and hits home that all you need to have a really great and really stylish work wardrobe is a carefully curated selection of items. You don't need a lot and you can actually put together a lot of different outfits with these pieces. You'll see to Today that I've injected a little bit more color and I'm looking forward to getting into that a bit more as we progress through this video. Now today's video is in partnership with Linya and I'm so excited to partner with them again. As you will know I have talked about the brand countless times and also featured them so much on my channel because I just really love their jewelry pieces as well as their leather goods. Linya is a female founded brand and for me one of the things that I really admire and appreciate is that everything is designed with intention and it's really designed to last. The actual jewelry pieces are all quite classic and timeless, the sort of pieces that aren't going to date and that are going to have a really strong presence in your jewelry wardrobe. And the quality is exceptional. And this is down to the fact that they use 22 karat gold for their gold verme pieces and the plating is 2.5 to 3 microns thick. This is up to 5 times thicker than many other brands and 100 times thicker than flash plating which you find on costume jewelry. I also really love and admire their approach to sustainability, so they use recycled gold and recycled silver throughout the entire collection. They use recycled packaging which is great and of course you can continue that process and recycle those items again. They offset the carbon emissions of every single order and they also use lab grown diamonds. These are physically, chemically, visually, in every single way they are exactly the same as a mined diamond except for the fact that they were grown in a lab and I have a few of their lab grown diamond pieces and they are absolutely brilliant and just sparkle so beautifully in the sunshine. Going back to my earlier point about the quality of Linya's jewellery, I also find it's really accessibly priced and it's not going to break the bank especially if you're just starting to build up your jewellery capsule collection. It's also worth noting that they take their commitment to traceability and ethical production really seriously and all the precious metals that they source come from the Responsible Jewelry Council and I will leave a link down in the description box below where you can find out a little bit more about that if you like. Um, I do have a few new pieces from the brand that I want to share with you today so I want to start with my earrings and these are called the Hildy earrings and I love that they're a kind of a classic style but with a modern twist. So they're a hoop earring and they have this very kind of organic sort of wavy shape to them and they're also a little bit thicker than some or wider should I say than some of the other earrings that I have from the brand which I am definitely feeling in the mood for a bit more of a statement when it comes to my jewelry and actually you might have noticed that I've got a bit of an appetite for silver jewelry at the moment as all of these pieces are in silver and I do love mixing my metals. Around my neck I'm wearing the Marit pearl necklace and this is a really fine silver chain and then it has this beautiful pearl which is encased in this little cage which again has those very organic wavy shapes to them so a lot of curves which I think are just a really nice touch when it comes to your jewellery. Then I have two of their tennis bracelets. I was so excited to see that they were launching these because I just think they're so pretty. Nice way to add a little bit of sparkle, a bit of glitz to your wrist. So I have the classic cubic zirconia full tennis bracelet and then I also have the half tennis bracelet in the blue cubic zirconia with the silver chain and these do both come in the gold as well. Then the other bracelet that I'm wearing is so, is so cool. This is called the Ingrid Pearl Bracelet. Again, it has those really kind of chunky pearls and there are silver beads in between each pearl. So, so beautiful and uh, definitely a bit of fun to add to my wrist. And I am going to share with you as I talk through all of the outfits in this video, the different jewelry pieces I would pair with them. And the way I'm going to approach it today is why I think is a really clever and smart way to kind of break down putting your jewelry on every day. And it's to think about the necklines of what you're wearing and then the jewelry that will best complement those items and those necklines. That way it takes all the guesswork out of what jewelry to wear and it makes that whole process of adorning your um, self with a little bit of jewelry a lot simpler. 
I will have all of the pieces that I'm featuring today listed down in the description box below. I'm going to have links to my edit over on the Linear website as well where you can see all of my favorites, the styles that I really do have on repeat. Linear have a great sale on at the moment and I'm going to pop those details on screen and also in the description box below. So a great opportunity to add one or two pieces to your closet from the brand, especially if you've been eyeing them up. Now I kind of want to dive in and quickly chat through all of the items that I have here. I'm going to talk through the breakdown and then I'm going to show you each item in detail and then we're going to go on to the outfits. So I have here five tops, one knit sweater, three bottoms made up of one skirt and two trousers and then I've also got a blazer, I have a pair of shoes and then a bag. And the reason why I like this particular breakdown is that it gives you 18 very different outfits, actually more if you consider the jacket as uh, creating a whole new outfit. So you've got a good three and a half weeks worth of outfits that you can easily rotate through. And I think that that's a really approachable and manageable number of outfits. You don't necessarily need a lot more than that unless you want to have more in your workwear wardrobe. So that's why I think having a really cohesive and really strong color palette is such an important part when it comes to selecting what you're going to add to your work wardrobe in general. And you don't have to go for black, white and grey. Uh, I think you can easily add in a lot of colour and that's definitely what I've done today. So I have focused more on kind of creamy colours as sort of my light neutrals and then I've gone for sort of really nice uh, desaturated blues and also dark navies for that darker end of the spectrum and for a bit of fun I went with this lovely little terracotta silk blouse which I think adds in some sort of vibrancy and this really kind of grounding earthiness and it actually feels really nicely with the blues that I selected which may seem a little bit unexpected and I think that can be a really fun way to play with your workwear style. When it comes to bags I think you just need one really good one something that is structured or really classic tote. Linear soft tote is actually a brilliant bag and that was my workwear bag for many years and then for shoes one really good pair of pumps that you can wear with everything is also a great thing to have in your wardrobe. I like something that isn't necessarily too high, that is very easy to manage and walk in. I've got a 50mm heel which I'm going to share with you a little bit closer as we go through all of these pieces here. And I would either tuck them underneath my desk at work or I would keep them in my drawer. And then that way you can do your commute in a really comfortable pair of sneakers or just some flats. And then you can easily slip on your heels when you get to the office. Alright, let's dive into these pieces and then share all those outfits. For the first top, I wanted to add in some serious texture, so I opted for this high-necked, white, smocked, long sleeve top. I like that it's got a slightly longer length through the body, which looks quite interesting when worn untucked. This next top is similar to the first one in that it has a fitted silhouette and it also has some interesting texture. This one is a classic crew which is perfect for showing off necklaces and it's a great workwear staple. Top number three is a blue shirt and this one is super oversized which I love because it adds a little bit of drama and some serious shape to workwear outfits. Here's where I really opted for some punchy color, this really beautiful burnt sienna silk blouse with the short sleeves. This one has a really lovely drape to it, so again, is a style that looks really nice when worn loose, but also great worn tucked in, either as a full tuck or a half tuck. The final top is a navy v-neck top. This one is a great basic and it has these really interesting balloon sleeves. I chose to add in a light grey knit. This one has quite a classic silhouette to it, being relatively slim through the body, but then it has this modern update with the bell sleeves. The skirt that I chose is this lovely Ecru cream colour, and it's a longer pencil style skirt, which I've really been in the mood for. I like that it has a slit at the side, which is still quite modest, and it has a detachable knitting, which helps to really switch up the way the skirt looks. For another hit of color, I've opted for these petrol blue trousers. These are in a nylon fabric, so they add some really interesting texture to the outfits. They're a straight cut through the leg too, which is really easy to style. The second pair of trousers I chose are in a classic black. These are high rise fluid trousers so they have a bit of a drape to them and these are a great option to take you from work to weekend. Then for my blazer of choice I wanted something that was navy so that it would really work with this color palette that I've selected. This one's from Arquette and has a slightly oversized fit to it. The handbag that I went for has some beautiful structure to it and I think it looks really smart, very very appropriate for the office. A great tote bag would also be a good alternative. These shoes that I chose are in a tote brown and they're in a lovely suede. Again, I'm adding in a little bit of extra texture here 
So this first series of outfits features that beautiful smock top with the high neckline. This is really modest and I love the way that it just adds a little bit of drama to my workwear outfits. It looks really great worn both tucked or worn loose and it's an interesting way to play around with my proportions when it comes to workwear. The smock top has so much drama that I wanted to keep the jewelry that I paired with it very simple. I've opted to wear my Matilde earrings from Linnea, which have that beautiful inorganic shape to them with the pearls. Then I've put a little bit of glitz on my fingers with some really lovely rings. I've got a gold and white topaz ring stack on one hand and then I'm wearing my Maya amethyst ring on the other. You'll probably have picked up that I've really opted for tops that do a lot of the leg work when it comes to the styling and this navy top with those really voluminous sleeves, those are really the statement maker element of this outfit and I love how effortlessly this pairs with the three bottoms that I've selected, the two trousers and the skirt. I wanted to create a little bit of contrast with the navy top so again I've worn those Matilde pearl earrings I featured earlier. Because this top has a beautiful v-neck, I wanted to capitalize on that and really showcase a beautiful necklace. So I've opted for my zodiac necklace here. On my wrist to complement my petite watch from Linnea, I'm wearing this very minimal chain bracelet, which I like because it just adds some extra adornment. I really wanted to play with the blues here, so I've also decided to wear my don't look back ring, which is this lovely marine blue color. A crisp cotton shirt is really workwear essential and it's probably no surprise that it just pairs so effortlessly with all three of the bottoms that I selected. I think also it would look great if I was to do a little bit of a half tuck. Perhaps I work in a slightly more creative environment but I still need to look a little bit more dressed up and elevated and refined and this shirt really does that for the look. When I find a ring stack I like, I tend to wear it on repeat. So I'm wearing that Tonya ring with the Julie Baguette ring again here. And I think it looks really sharp and striking against the blue of the shirt. On my ears, I'm wearing those lovely Hildy earrings in the silver. I just love the shape of them. And I think that this blue really leans well into these silver tones. I feel like I can make a little bit of a statement with this shirt. So on my wrist, I'm wearing the Ingrid bracelet, which is with the pearls. I've also paired that with another gold chain chain bracelet from Linnea as well. Around my neck I've layered two necklaces, the Lilisand Figaro chain necklace in the gold which I've worn a little bit higher up with the Merit pearl necklace. An open neckline like this gives you ample opportunity to really show off and showcase a beautiful necklace stack. Now this is where I'm really bringing the color in this mini capsule wardrobe. I really love this rusty burnt sienna hue. I think it is so playful and fun and the style of this blouse is really chic and modern and it has this beautiful drape. Um, the way the fabric just is quite flowy and kind of falls on itself so nicely. It has this understated elegance to it. This is a type of item I really prefer to wear in a bit of a half tuck moment because the fabric just falls so nicely at the back. That burnt sienna top is a bit of a statement on its own so I wanted to keep the rest of my jewelry relatively pared back and minimal. So on my ears I'm wearing my Linnea studs. These are the Lab Grand diamond studs and they are so brilliant and sparkly. And then around my neck I'm wearing the new Merit necklace in silver with the pearl. Wearing the blouse open at the collar really allows me to showcase the beautiful pendant on this necklace. I also opted to wear a couple of rings too. So I'm wearing my Tonya ring in the silver and then I've opted to wear that with my jewelry ring which has the lovely baguette shaped white topaz stones in it. This rib fitted top is the type of thing that I consider to be another workwear essential and a really good base layer piece, especially during the cooler months, something that you could actually layer underneath one of your shirts or even just with a blazer over the top and it will give you this really nice slim silhouette, especially if you're wearing a fuller skirt or you have a more voluminous trouser. The neckline of this top is so clean that it creates the perfect backdrop for a necklace. I've worn my Lilisand necklace here again. And then on my wrist, I'm wearing a couple of gold chain bracelets from Linnea. I've stacked two of my favorite rings on my left index finger, the Miriam diamond ring and the Ilsa ring Lut. These are both from the Lab Grown Diamond Collection. And then on my other hand, I'm wearing my Maya amethyst ring. The earrings that I chose to pair with this top are the Joran chunky hoops. I love the shape of these and they have this beautiful glean to them. The sweater really adds a beautiful softness to these workwear outfits. And I really like 
like the way that the sleeves drape and they kind of have a bit of a billowy nature to them as well. I personalize the sweater a little bit here by adding that brooch with the crystal and pearl detail. This jumper has a lot of cool tones to it so I wanted to draw on that for my jewelry picks so I'm wearing those Hildy earrings again here which I think really complement the color of my knit nicely. Because I'm already wearing a brooch on my sweater, I'm not accessorizing too much here. So on my ring finger, on my right hand, I am wearing my Edith ring, which I love just with that little extra touch of sparkle. Because the sweater is a little bit more of a chunky silhouette, I've decided to also wear my Ingrid bracelet with those really chunky pearls, along with the half tennis bracelet, which is in the silver chain link with the blue cubic zirconia stones. So there you have it. That is my 12 item workwear capsule wardrobe updated for the transitional season. Obviously, you might also need to add a light jacket to this as well, but I think that's something you can easily pull from your regular everyday wardrobe, not necessarily something you need to add to your closet specifically for the office. I hope that you enjoyed this and you got some outfit inspiration and you also got some inspiration on different colors and ways that you can pair things that you already own. I really loved also thinking about how I would uh, style all of these different outfits up with the linear jewelry pieces. That's such a fun little element and for me it's always the finishing touch of my outfits. So a huge thank you to Linya again for partnering with me on this video. As mentioned, I will have all of those links down in the description box below. And don't forget to check out their sale that's on at the moment. I will have those details on screen and in the description box below as well. I'd love to know if you had a favorite look, if you had a particular favorite jewelry piece please let me know and I will see you next time with a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new and you want to see more videos like this, then I would love for you to subscribe and I will see you next week with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.